This is a demonstration of how SOLIDWORKS customers design better products with SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD software and Microsoft products. We're going to begin a design workflow from PDMworks Enterprise. This is a SOLIDWORKS Enterprise data management system based on Microsoft SQL Server. Notice that our data management vault exists right inside of the shell for Windows Explorer. As we view various information, because we're inside of the PDMworks Enterprise interface, there are particular items such as preview and bill of materials. Here I'm going to go ahead and lock my assembly, making it so that only I have access to this design database. From here, I'll actually go ahead and through the flip tabs, come to SOLIDWORKS and open this assembly. SOLIDWORKS on Vista is taken advantage of the full search capabilities built into the operating system, making it extremely easy for engineers to find the design information that they need to work on. The integration of the new Vista Open interface makes it extremely visual and easy for designers to find the files that they work on. SOLIDWORKS and 3D CAD programs are very visually driven. So the new previews in the open interface, as well as the Windows Explorer, help engineers identify the design that they want that they can go ahead and work on. Here we've opened our assembly from both SOLIDWORKS and Microsoft customer Trek bicycles. And what we want to do is do some work on the fork subassembly. SOLIDWORKS has many capabilities built in it to help automate the design process. This single fork can have many different design variations. SOLIDWORKS uses configurations and able to drive the different sizes. As we've changed from a long to a middle and a short size fork, you see how all this information exists in a single Users can automate the creation of these configurations using Excel 2007. A designer simply takes a variable and adds a new additional size or changes a parameter. Using Excel right inside of SOLIDWORKS, a new variation of design can be created very quickly and easily. Notice we see there's now a fourth variation, this custom size of the fork at a length of 150. This is a very simple and easy way for our customers to automate the design process using It is often important to share designs outside of the CAD community. Here we'll simply save an XAML file out for use inside of a web page so the non-designer can take a look at this design. Again, as we tab through to the desktop, we'll actually go ahead and launch this file for others to see and review in the design process. And you see a representation of that fork just as it existed inside of the design software. Once the design has been reviewed and the changes are satisfactory, we can then return to PDMworks Enterprise in order to complete the documentation process on this design. We're just going to go ahead and cut and paste our XAML file right inside of our vault. The cut and paste interface makes it extremely easy to work with this design information and secure it inside of the data management system. Once I go ahead and unlock this, there's actually a revisioning record and this file is actually linked with the overall assembly. Again, once, now that we're done with our design changes, we'll go ahead and unlock the entire assembly, increase its revision, and now we have an accurate and complete bill of materials. To share this bill of materials outside of design, we can go ahead and save it as a Microsoft Excel file to share with other people in purchasing or in manufacturing. You've seen a great look at how SOLIDWORKS products, along with Microsoft products, can really help companies design better products.